I've received quite a number of questions about who Dr. Martin Luther King is. And today, I'll be talking about the greatness of the life and death of Dr. Martin Luther King and why he's widely celebrated in the United States today. A lot of people do not know who Dr. Martin Luther King is. Yes, and that is why I had to make this video. To this video tell the is whole gonna explain and tell you a lot about who Dr. Martin Luther King so your thoughts after and watching this video he and leave your comments as States. well. Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave your comments as well. Today is a special day that is in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King and for a lot of people that have been asking me who is Dr. Martin Luther King so I hope this video is going to explain to you everything all that it is to know and many more about this great Dr. Martin Luther King so please feel free to watch this video share with your friends tell your friends tell your friends tell your friends and let me know what you think right after it do you believe that Dr. Martin Luther King's real name is Michael the civil rights activist was born Michael King jr. on January 15 1929 to parents Michael King senior and Alberta Williams King his father who was a minister at Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta visited Germany in 1934 and became Came inspired by the Protestant Reformation leader Martin Luther King Sr. began calling himself and later his son Martin Luther King. If you are watching this video for the first time, my name is Miriam. I am a wife, a mom, a student, an entrepreneur, and of course, a fashion designer. <laughs> Today, we'll be talking about the importance of the sacrifice that Dr. Martin Luther King did for this great nation, United States of America. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a Baptist minister and social rights activist in the United States in the 50s and 60s. He was a leader of the American Civil Rights Movement and he organized a number of peaceful protests as head of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, including the March on Washington in 1963. He won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964 and at the time he was the youngest person to have done so. On August 28, 1963, in front of a crowd of nearly 250,000 people spread across the National Mall in Washington, D.C., the Baptist preacher and civil rights leader, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., delivered his now famous I Have a Dream speech from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. Now, organizers of the event, officially known as the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, had hoped that 100,000 people would attend. But in the end, more than twice more than twice that number flooded the, the nation's capital for the massive protest march making it the largest demonstration in the united states history to that date dr martin luther king's i have a dream speech now stands out as one of the 20th century's most unforgettable moments but a few facts about him may still surprise you <laughs> do you know that the king family still owns the i have a dream speech although it is one of the most famous and widely celebrated speeches in the United States history, few people have had the enormous impact on the life and society as Dr. Martin Luther King himself. A Baptist minister inspired by other advocates of non-violence, King encouraged oppressed and socially disadvantaged African Americans to fight for their equality through peaceful protests. Although he was assassinated in April of 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King helped to end legal separation and was the, and was the key driving force behind the Civil Rights Act of 1964 Yes, and the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Dr. King's life was one of hardship and struggle, but also one of hope and building solidarity. Now, the bonds that he built, that Dr. Martin Luther King built, and strides that he helped make change America and send shock waves around the world. King's birth name was Michael. Yes, that is the truth. Okay, so when Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. received a Nobel Peace, a Nobel Peace Prize for combating racial inequality through non-violence, he was just 35 years old. Can you beat that? He was the youngest man at the time to do so, and his prize included a check for $54,123, which, which he donated to various organizations. Congress on Racial Equality, C-O-R-E, the NAACP, which is National Council of Negro 
Zero Women. Also donated to Students Nonviolence Coordinating Committee, SNCC, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, to aid in the progress of the civil rights movement. Now, from 1957 to 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King traveled over 6 million miles and, and spoke over 2,500 times. Now, the SCLC, which is an organization that was formed that was formed to aid the growing civil rights movement, elected Dr. Martin Luther King as its president in 1957. He led the group until he led the group from its murder, from its inception until he was murdered in 1968. Yes. Now, founded on Christian values, the SCLC sought to advance the cause of the civil rights movement, but in a peaceful way, and that is what makes him different. He was inspired by the teachings of Mahatma Gandhi. Dr. Martin Luther King operated on Christian principles without violence. He traveled across the nation, visiting cities for speeches and protests. Dr. Martin Luther King also wrote five books and published many articles. Now, the civil rights leader was arrested 29 times and assaulted four times. Although Dr. Martin Luther King was admired by so many people, he was seen as a threat to the American security by police officials. He went to jail nearly 30 times. He was arrested for acts of civil disobedience, including the time he was jailed in Montgomery, Alabama in 1956 for driving five miles per hour over the speed limit <sighs> guess what even the FBI had their concerns. Paper trails show that the agency had continued efforts to thwart Dr. Martin Luther King's progress. And after his speech, I have a dream. In 1963, the FBI intensified their investigation to Dr. Martin Luther King and the SCLC. Now, Dr. Martin Luther King was awarded dozens of honorary degrees and titles in his lifetime. Dr. Martin Luther King was the only non-president to have a national holiday in his name, yes. He was the only non-president to have a national holiday in his name, Roger that. In 1983, President Ronald Reagan signed a bill that would establish a nationally observed holiday in remembrance of Dr. Martin Luther King. And he is the only non-president to have received such an honor. The other Americans to have a holiday commemorated in his name is George Washington. And the holiday was first celebrated was first celebrated in 1986 on the third Monday in January, close to MLK's birthday on January 15th. Now, he is the only non-president with a memorial located on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. Dr. Martin Luther King was awarded 20 honorary degrees and was named Man of the Year by Time magazine. The tribute included a photo Photograph on the cover plus a seven-page article with several photos of the most of the most memorable moments of his career such as meeting with President Lyndon B. Johnson and his 1963 arrest in Alabama. Now there are approximately 900 streets named after Dr. Martin Luther King in the United States. According to Derek Alderman, head of geography department of the University of Tennessee, there are approximately 900 streets named after King, after Dr. Martin Luther King in the USA. And after his assassination in 1963, cities across the nation began naming and renaming their streets in his honor. Even countries such as Italy and Israel followed suit. And the number of streets increases every year with 70% in southern states, including Alabama, Texas, Florida, Mississippi, Georgia, Louisiana, and North Carolina. Dr. Martin Luther King was nearly assassinated 10 years before his death. On, the, on September 20th, 1958, Dr. Martin Luther King was in Harlem signing copies of his new book, Stride Toward Freedom. You need to read that book. At a local departmental store, Blumstein, a, a woman named Izola Ware Corey approached Dr. Martin Luther King, asking if he was truly Dr. Martin Luther King. And guess what? When he replied yes, she said, I have been looking for you for five years. And then she stuck a letter opener into his chest. The blade came close to penetrating Dr. Martin Luther King's heart. It was nestled just along the side of his altar. Now, after several hours of surgery, Dr. Martin Luther King emerged alive. Dr. Zeta told him that just one sneeze could have killed him. Do you believe that Dr. Martin Luther King later issued a statement that he felt no anger or ill will towards that same woman that tried to kill him years before? Now, that is deep. That is iconic. 
Another interesting fact about Dr. Martin Luther King is that his mother was also murdered by a gunman. On the 30th of June 1974, Alberta Williams King was shot by a maniacal gunman who claims that Christians were his enemy and that he received divine instructions to kill Dr. King's father. However, because Alberta, who played the organ on Sundays at Ebenezer Baptist Church, was, close, was closer to the assailant, he opted to shoot her instead. Now, the man was convicted, receiving the death penalty sentence, which was later changed to life in prison, partly because King's family did not believe in capital punishment. Dr. Martin Luther King's last public speech foreshadowed his death. On the night before Dr. Martin Luther King's assassination, he traveled to Memphis to give a speech in support of the city's African-American sanitation workers. And at Mason Temple Church, he told the crowd, like anybody, I would love to live a long life. Longevity has its place, but I'm not concerned about that for now. I have seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as people will get to the promised land. And I am happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. And I'll be sharing some of MLK's favorite quotes. One of them is, the time is always right to do what is right. One of his favorite quotes is, Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. He also has a favorite quote which says, Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And the next one is, Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. Another quote of his is, I have decided to stick with love. Hate is too great a burden to bear. Another quote is, faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. Yes. At this point, um, I just want to ask a question. Which of Dr. Martin Luther King's favorite quotes resonates with you? Let me know in the comment section. This video has blessed you. You know how we do it. Please click on the subscribe button and leave your comments below. I can't wait to read from you guys. Yeah, and for those of you that are interested in joining my Facebook group, it is called Business Moguls. We have to inspire business people to take their businesses and business ideas to the next level. So if you're interested in joining my Facebook group, you can find the link in the description below. And I'll be more than happy. And I'll be more than happy to have you right in the group. Thank you so much, guys.